Hi guys, this is Ranjit and uh, let's talk about automatic cards because lately in India, if you see the traffic situation has changed quite a bit and I'm seeing a lot of people buying automatic uh, also in our family. Just about two years ago, we had migrated from manual to automatic, but there are actually uh, quite a bit of different type of automatic uh, uh, transmission cars available in the market. And in this video, I'm going to quickly talk about uh, them because we have them in our family. And I think so if you're looking for automatic car, you need to know uh, what is the different type of uh, transmissions that it has because it overall affects how the car performs and broadly speaking let's talk from uh, the lower end the cheapest uh, and then we'll go to the higher end and uh, the most uh, what do you say affordable these days is known as AMT the full form is automated manual transmission and generally you'll find this in uh, what do you say um, budget uh, range automatic cars for example uh, if you look at Maruti's automatic cars most of them will be AMT and also Hyundai has also come out with some uh, uh, cars uh, that are having AMT the thing with AMT is that it's actually relatively a lot less expensive in fact it's uh, traditionally a regular manual transmission but we just have a computer which actually changes the gear hence it's known as automated manual transmission the advantage is that uh, with this AMT is that the mileage is not affected that much you'll get the mileage as close to a manual car uh, but the thing is that um, you will notice the gear changes when it happens for example we have in our family um, uh, this is the Tia uh, Tiago uh, AMT uh, that we purchased about two years ago and you do notice the gear changes on that in fact in the dash it actually shows which gear you are so think of this one as just the computer it's a manual car but just the computer is changing the gears and I would say in city traffic AMTs are actually pretty good because you don't go that fast because of the city uh, but again if you are an enthusiast in something so when you are revving it you will notice that slight delay in changing of the gears but the good thing is that uh, it does not cost a lot compared to other automatics next uh, then we have this is known as the traditional automatic uh, in US and stuff in 1965 1917s all the automatic cars were using this this is known as the torque converter and it's just known as the automatic and this is the most popular and one of the oldest automatic transmission it has having a torque converter and, and because it's so old the technology has matured so much that it is one of the most reliable uh, automatics that you can get and in many of the automatics if they don't specify anything like AMT D CT, CVT, etc. It will be the torque converter. In fact, uh, some of the German brands still use this torque converter. For example, BMW uses that, and uh, it's very, very reliable. Uh, and but the thing is with uh, torque converter is that the mileage gets affected a little bit if you compare it with the manuals. Uh, generally, uh, I have the Honda. Sorry, I have the uh, Hyundai Verna, which is actually a torque converter, and it gives me a mileage of about nine kilometers. And I've heard that the manual variant might give about ten to ten and a half so mileage gets affected but again the gearbox is really really good and again in traffic conditions when i'm driving it i hardly notice the gear changes in slow speed yes but at high speeds you will notice the gear change but again it is not as jerky as an amt uh, it's very very refined and very very reliable and again uh, mo many cars actually use the torque converter uh, now next uh, move to the next one this is known as cvt this is known as a continuous variable transmission. In most of the automatics, you'll uh, notice that it still has a number of gears. For example, they might specify five gears, seven gears, nine gears. But on a CVT, uh, it's not number of gears because uh, it is actually held by two pulleys and it continuously moves uh, based on the performance of the engine that is required. So again, there is technically uh, it's not shifting gears uh, for example it doesn't have n number of gears it's infinite number of gears the advantage with the cvt is that uh, it is very very smooth in city traffic uh, when you're not driving it very fast because it's very very smooth and the technical advantage of a cvt is that compared to most other automatic transmissions the cvts generally give actually a lot more mileage we do have honda city with us which is uh, the automatic CVT and I would say in city uh, traffic it is very very comfortable to drive you hardly notice uh, any jerk or anything when you're driving but the problem with the CVT is that if you are an enthusiast driver uh, and you want to do quick overtakes uh, uh, and stuff there you notice uh, the downsides of a CVT uh, when you just floor it and you want to overtake a person 
it does not react very quickly it's there is sort of a rubber band effect i would say sort of a lag that you'll get for about one one and a half seconds the engine noise goes really high but the car doesn't pull it takes a couple of seconds so that's the biggest problem with cvt and that's the reason many enthusiasts do not like a cvt engine but again if you're driving mostly in the city uh, then cvts are very very comfortable and they give you actually pretty good mileage for example as i've told you we own the honda city that has a cvt and city traffic mostly we drive it and it's very comfortable and uh, technically CVTs are supposed to give the best mileage in my situation I, we haven't noticed a huge difference in mileage from my uh, what do you say Hyundai Verna which is a torque converter and a CVT because the traffic in Hyderabad is crazy maybe if we drive both of them on the highway maybe the CVT would give better mileage uh, but again it's not for the enthusiast driver and uh, honda in india generally uses cvt for example the honda city uh, the new honda civic is also a cvt i was looking to buy the honda uh, uh, what do you say uh, civic because i originally owned the honda uh, civic earlier uh, but the new honda civic is cvt and that's the reason i'm not buying uh, because i just don't like that uh, rubber band delay that you get sometimes when you want to do that quick overtakes that's the problem i have with cvts but apart from that uh, very good engines next uh, we have uh, uh, something known as dct these are dual clutch transmission and as the name says it has two clutches not single clutch and uh, the gears are uh, uh, defined in uh, what do you say the first let's say the clutch will have one three uh, five seven odd number of gears and the second uh, clutch will have two four six like that so th it actually has two clutches and the uh, advantage of that this is that uh, it is very very fast to switch gears and you hardly notice the gear changes with the dct it's uh, very fluid very smooth you hardly notice the gear changes up shifts and even the uh, down shifts are very very quick with the dct but the downsides of a dct as you have noticed is that it has dual clutch uh, the engineering is a lot more complex hence dct engines are a little bit more on the expensive side and also if repairs are happen uh, they do cost a lot more on the dct but uh, most of the performance cars many of the german cars actually use dct in india for example skoda if you're looking for skoda uh, with automatic transmission it has uh, dsg it's a variant of uh, dct for example many of the volkswagen uh, cars automatic also have a dct in fact uh, benz also uses uh, uh, many of the cars have dct uh, so the good advantage of the Z dct is very lightning quick to shift gears you hardly notice maybe when you are in third gear you shift to even fifth or sixth gear quickly you hardly notice it's a very smooth ride but again yes on the maintenance side uh, they are more expensive so these are the broad four uh, or types of transmissions that we have when you're looking for an automatic uh, car uh, the amt we have then we have the torque converter still a lot of uh, actually uh, cars use it in fact bmw even in some of the new uh, cars actually use the torque converter it's so good uh, then we have the cvt then we have the dct so these are broadly but again guys uh, this is just the transmission part of a engine uh, what the actual engine is also makes a lot of uh, difference uh, uh, for example what type of engine uh, in your car do you have is it a naturally aspirated engine or is it a turbocharged engine then also how much power does the engine produce for example we always talk about bhp the brake horsepower but we don't concentrate on the torque that is actually very important uh, so again i can't talk about all these things in this video if you find this video helpful and if you want me to cover some of the other aspects for example uh, turbo uh, the torque and etc do let me know in the comment section below i'll uh, post uh, a different video regarding that anyways guys uh, that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys